The Sega CD was always a system that interested me as a kid, you know, seeing games on a CD with CD quality music and having, you know, video clips and stuff on it, it was really mind-blowing stuff. And of course, you know, the full motion video games haven't aged all that well, but as a kid, like, that was top of the line stuff. And I never had one as a kid. My family couldn't afford it, yet my cousin had one, and they were poorer than we were. And it really didn't make much sense to me. But then I learned about government cheese, because he had a bunch of brothers and sisters, long story, so they had a lot of money coming into the house. Anyways, the Sega CD is a really cool system, but most people assimilate it with these full motion video games. But there's actually a ton of really good games on the Sega CD that you guys should definitely check out. So in this video, I just wanted to talk about some Sega CD games that I really enjoy. I'm not saying that these are the best games on the system, but these are the games on the system that I think are really fun and really cool and games that you should definitely play. So sit back, relax, and let's talk about some Sega CD games that you should be playing. don't have a Sega CD? Huh? What are you waiting for? Nintendo to make one? <laughs> you have seen the games, right? Uh, Wrong uh, answer, man. Show them! <laughs> Wanna see more? <laughs> The first game I want to talk about is Hideo Kojima's Snatcher. Now, after making Metal Gear games on the MSX, Snatcher was the first Hideo Kojima game that released in the States. And it was just an amazing game. It was set in a neo-punk sort of future, and it was just really good. You know, there was some excellent storytelling within the game. It was a point-and-click adventure that had some real-time elements thrown into it as well. Just an amazing game. It's a very highly sought-after Sega CD game as well. It gets about six to $700 right now, and it's honestly super expensive but with the Sega CD you can burn games so if you really want to play it there is a way to play it now this was also brought over to the Sega Saturn but unfortunately was only released in Japan so the Sega CD is the way to play the game and it's one of the best exclusives on the platform really a timeless game that can still be enjoyed today so if you've never played Snatcher it's definitely a game that should be on your radar and like I said if you can't afford the real copy there are other ways to play it but Snatcher definitely a game you need to play The next game I want to talk about is Sonic CD. Now, of course, this is a very popular game. If you've ever played a Sega CD, you've probably played this game. But just in case you haven't, Sonic CD is an excellent game. It was developed by Sega of Japan, whereas the Sonic games that were coming out for the Genesis were developed by Sega of America. So this is more of an extension of Sonic 1 than of Sonic 2. But it's a fantastic game. You can even tell that it's more of Sonic 1 with Sonic's animations. But as far as the game is concerned, outstanding. It looks great and it sounds great thanks to that CD quality audio. It's a super fun game. There's the past and future mechanic in the game as well that changes up the way levels are played. It could be a bit confusing. The level design is pretty all over the place and stuff, but I like that about the game. It keeps you on your toes. A fantastic game, and there's a multitude of ways to play it if you don't own a Sega CD. Uh, the Sonic Gems Collection, I believe it was on there for the GameCube. So, you know, there are ways to play Sonic CD, but if you have a Sega CD, it's not a super expensive game to check out. Sonic CD, another must-play game. Into a little bit of the more obscure stuff is Terminator on the Sega CD. Now, most of the Terminator games that came out before this sucked. You know, you had the NES ones, you had the Genesis ones, you had the Super Nintendo ones. You didn't have Robocop versus Terminator when this came out. You had just the LJN games, and they just were not that good and not that enjoyable. But the Terminator on the Sega CD was actually very, very kick-ass. It follows the plot of the first Terminator movie, and it has some video from it as well that just looks terrible by today's standards. But back in the day, you know, it was pretty cool to see movie clips on a video game console. But the gameplay of Terminator is what's really fun. It's a side-scrolling game with some, you know, exploration in the levels and whatnot. It's just a really fast, fluid, and fun game. It has an excellent soundtrack done by Tommy Tallarico with just some awesome butt rock tunes that just get you all hyped. Like, it's just so good. Like, I have those on an MP3 and I play it in my car when I'm like driving and I want to drive really fast. Terminator, a really under the radar game on the Sega CD, but definitely a game you should check out. 
Another great game for the Sega CD that you definitely need to check out is Rise of the Dragon. Now, much like Snatcher, Rise of the Dragon is that sort of same point and click style game. But what's good about this game is it's a fraction of the price. It is super cheap to get a copy of this and it's still a really good game. It's heavily inspired by Blade Runner. When I say heavily inspired by Blade Runner, your main character is called Blade Hunter. Yes, I'm serious, but that just sort of adds to the game and it's a really awesome game. You're stopping a Chinese drug ring that's making a drug that turns you into a dragon. Really weird story, but it's sort of in that same vibe as Snatcher. And like I said, it's a fraction of the price. So Rise of the Dragon, a super fun game, super common and definitely a game you should check out. It looks really good and it plays really well. If you've ever watched Classic Game Room, you would know that one of Mark's favorite games is Musha on the Sega Genesis. But did you know that Musha actually had a sequel on the Sega CD called Robo Alesti? At least, I don't really know how to say it. But what I do know is it is a kick ass shmup. And if you like fast Japanese shmups with big sprites and whatnot, this is an excellent game. It also features CD quality music because it's on a CD. There's also full motion video that tells sort of the story of it, but really the gameplay is what makes this game so good. It's fast, it's very frantic, and it's getting up there in price. But Robo Elise, Alesti, I don't know how to say it. All I know is you need to play this game. It's one of my favorite games on the system as I love a good 2D shmup and it does doesn't really get much better than this as far as the classics go. Final Fight may have been butchered and neutered on the Super Nintendo, but Final Fight CD for the Sega CD is a fantastic game. You have all three characters, there's two player co-op, there are big beautiful sprites in the game and it's just an excellent arcade port on the Sega CD. It's pretty amazing that we didn't see more arcade ports on the Sega CD. You had Mortal Kombat which was actually not all that great and really that was it. There wasn't many arcade ports done for the Sega CD but Final Fight CD shows that it should have been more because Final Fight CD is a fantastic version of the game. You have all the characters, you have removed elements from the Super Nintendo version in the Sega CD version and just an excellent game. I hate the box. The box is big and stupid and it's not like any other Sega CD box except for like I think the Adventures of Willy Beamish has that same sort of crappy box. I don't know why they did that. They really shouldn't have done that but at least the game is great. So pick you up a copy of the game in a jewel case. Final Fight CD another must play on the Sega CD. Another really good Sega CD game that doesn't get enough attention is The Amazing Spider-Man, The Kingpin. Now this was a port of a Genesis game, but they did a lot more with it. They improved the graphics, they added animated cutscenes, they added in voice acting, there's even full comic book scans in this game, and it's a really fun 2D platformer. Nothing really special, nothing really mind-blowing, but it's not a super expensive game. If you're a fan of platforming games, uh, superhero games, Spider-Man, The Kingpin, or The Amazing Spider-Man, The Kingpin is an excellent game to add to your collection. You'll have a lot of fun with it. It looks good. It plays very fluid and it's just another solid game that doesn't get enough attention in the sea of FMV games. So definitely check out The Amazing Spider-Man The Kingpin. The final game I want to talk about for the Sega CD in this video is Lunar the Silver Star. Now this game really upped the production value of what an RPG should be about. It definitely feels more like a PS1 RPG than a Sega CD RPG because at the time RPGs weren't really known for their production value. Sure you had good music and graphics and stuff but this game incorporated voice acting. This game incorporated animated cutscenes and a really interesting story that has a boy named Alex and his friends trying to become the next Dragon Master. It's just a timeless game. It's a super expensive game. There are other ways to play it. You could play it on the PS1. They did a revision of it but Lunar the Silver Star was just a really groundbreaking game. It's a pivotal game in gaming history that doesn't really get enough credit. It's another awesome Working Designs RPG. Working Designs was one of the greatest companies of the mid 90s and if you've never played Lunar you really need to play it. The Silver Star is just an amazing game. They also released a sequel to the, on the platform but I always felt the first game was better than the second game just down to personal preference. Regardless play a Lunar on the Sega CD you will not be disappointed. All right, and those are some Sega CD games that I really think you need to play. Uh, most of these are exclusives to the system, so you really need to find a way to play it. If you own a Sega CD, you hopefully own some of these games. If not, make sure you check them out. They're super good games. You're gonna have a blast playing them, and they really stand the test of time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Let me know in the comments section down below what Sega CD games you enjoy. And as always, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you guys next time. Later.
Dick Tate, 85.